Hey everyone, uh, Kyushizu here, and uh, we're just going to do a quick uh, collection video for the end of 2018. I know there's at least one subscriber who subscribed because they wanted to see a collection video, and my collection has grown substantially since um, I last did one of these, so I thought we'd just go through everything all in one go and take a look at it. Uh, also, my family's at home at the moment, so sorry if you hear any talking in the background. But uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Now first we're going to just take a look at some of the boring stuff and then we're going to go into my room and see the good stuff. So let's come in here first. Can't be bothered with that. And we got this little Orion Beauty in here. Ignore the Rograts VHSs, they're my sisters. This is, uh, this has RGB in the back and it also has a built-in uh, RGB SCART and a built-in VHS and DVD player. And it's just a cool unit. It's a pity it's not uh, bigger, because then I'd probably use it as my main TV. I have a fat PS2. It has a read error or two. I don't use it too much. It's just out here for my sister. Uh, this interesting thing here, this is a, um, a multi-tap stand. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I can never get these third-party multi-taps to work, no matter what. I've got a random, uh, I think, uh, what's this, a 9000 series PS2 Slim. Yeah, um, this thing has overheat issues with... Um, I think it was Need for Speed Most Wanted that showed them most often, so I don't actually use it that much. But uh, yeah, I mean, I was doing some testing, that's why it's here. A couple of my sister's games, Hobbit, CSI. He's all for any oh yeah, we also got this, this I bought on CEX over here. Great thing about CEX, uh, PS2 value steering wheels like this and joysticks, they have for $2 each, plus $3 shipping, so that's $5 total. I think this was actually 4 total. But like, you know, uh, so... And this is pretty cool. This is actually a, uh, it's got USB and PS1, so it does both standards, which is useful. Uh, it's sprung. And also, look at that uh, color scheme it's got there. I mean, it's cheap stuff and it was missing its knob, but hey, I mean, for four bucks. So here we have uh, the Wii U, which is just uh, on here as well, and the PS3 that my girlfriend's mum got me. As you see, she got it for 65 bucks for my birthday last year. It's pretty good. Uh, it's not PS2 backwards compatible, but it does the job. And here is my PS3 and Blu-ray collection. This time last year, I had no PS3 games. So this is, um, a lot of these were actually a Christmas present from uh, my sister and her boyfriend. Yeah, I got some good stuff here, like uh, Toy Story 3. That was a cool recent find. Um, a lot of the Ratchet and Clanks. I love my Ratchet and Clank. I don't have all of them yet. Um, Skyrim, never played it. Uh, sister plays it a lot more than me. Yeah, sister plays the PS3 a lot more than I do. Red Faction, Alien Isolation. That's a really cool one to have. Yeah, the, the, so that's the PS3. In terms of Wii U, I actually only have four physical games for it. Just here. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, because it was cheap. Tenderland, Xenoblade Chronicles X, my mum got me. I played a bit of it. I want to get into it more. And, of course, the reason I got the Wii U. Splatoon. I played that at uh, the EB Expo one year, and I, and I was sold. And so I didn't get a PS4 or an Xbox One, I just said, I want a Wii U, and do that. On the Wii U, I've also got a Shovel Knight, uh, Mario Kart 8, PC. Yeah. Oh, of course, oh, how did I forget this? Wait. I found this on the side of the road, look at that. So this is the Battle Axe Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock guitar. Comes with everything, I mean, this bit here is a little broken, doesn't stay on properly, but... And of course it's got a loose whammy bar, but... I love my guitar, well, I like my guitar here, I haven't played enough of it. But yeah, what I have played is good, and like, yeah, I mean, for free by the side of the road, it's pretty good. So that, uh, that covers all the boring stuff, or most of it, and, uh, so now I think, uh, we should go into my room. So let's, let's, uh... Okay, I've opened up the window so we can see a bit, hopefully we've got decent enough quality, and he is... My room, my bedroom slash game room slash, uh, office, and uh, I think we'll just work our way around the room, so we'll start in here. Actually, we'll start, we'll start in the, uh, in the closet here, in the walk-in room. And, yeah, in here, um, try and move some Well, as you see, it's pretty packed in here. You can see in a lot of my older videos that I have a huge VHS collection. I love my VHS. Oh, this one I happen to be holding. Signed by the Hooli Doolies. That was a cool find. You won't find many of these these days because they're broken up. Also got one signed by almost all the Wiggles. I just got a couple more. Not much video game stuff here. Got another Guitar Hero guitar. The ori original one. Full collection of Yu-Gi-Oh! DVDs up to I think 1.7. Um, <laughs> anyone recognize this thing? Still got the string on it. <laughs> and of course this is a cool find. This is uh, two bucks. 
a PlayStation hat. And now we're onto the shelf. Uh, this is uh, back up a bit, Louis, so I can get a big, good look at it. This is just uh, this is relatively new. This used to be two pretty uh, the two bookshelves you would have seen in the other room. They were there. I haven't taken them apart yet. But yeah, this is uh, relatively recently went up, so I just sort of threw all my books in it. Um, notable things, you know. Uh, oh, I got my nice Ferrari wheel here. That was five bucks at an op shop. That went with one of the uh, PS2 Ferrari games. I forget which one it was. Uh, if, if you ask me, they should have just uh, put in their full marketing budget into uh, the OutRun games, because they're official Ferrari, and then just, like, not bothered and license their cars like uh, Gran Turismo or something. But whatever. Uh, I've got my, my boom stick, which I paid an arm and a leg to get shells for. What are ejecting shells? Hopefully they want to turn this into an Evil Dead cosplay one day. You know, you know. Also a pistol, you know, just in case of zombie attacks. You know, you can never be too careful. Um... Other things of interest in the bookshelf. Uh, oh, actually, I got this yesterday. It's a Nintendo 64 code book. I like the I like the rear cover more than I like the front cover. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. There's some games right there, of course. So. This one up here is Nintendo, so don't worry about that one. I just I just thought this area was looking kind of bare, so I put two of my rare uh, uh, DS games there just to give something. Retro game challenge. I got that for six bucks at a uni flea market. And this one I paid 25 in store credit for, but uh, because of what I traded in to get it, I paid nothing for. This is the Game & Watch collection. This was originally, you could only get it uh, by ordering online through Club Nintendo. Uh, if you got the Club Nintendo points, and it contains three uh, Game & Watch games. And this game goes for like 70 bucks online. It's, it's pretty crazy, and it's complete. And, um, so yeah, and I thought, oh yeah, this would be a perfect flip, because I'll buy it, I won't be interested in it, and I'll flip it. But I, I bought it, and I thought, hey, I'll play it once, and... <sighs> I don't know, there's something about these simple Game Watch games that gets me hooked, man. So now I'm stuck with the damn thing. But yeah, uh, that's just just how I collect the operates, yeah. Red Dwarf books, I love my Red Dwarf. Oh, um, Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber with a red blade. <laughs> because, I don't know, they... Oh, this is cool. Wait, uh, yeah, there it is. Got some more Nerf guns. Hidden away under here, this is my Sonic uh, Maverick I found for like three bucks. I'm going to resell this one eventually, but I'm actually... Thinking of making a video specifically on the Maverick, just because it was a really sort of uh, pivotal gun, uh, like Nerf gun. So um, I, I don't know, it's just a cool toy. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, Nerf stuff under here. Um, oh, actually, I didn't talk too much about what's. Oh no, I'll show you guys. You can see this. But actually, there's a bunch of props from the Britney's Dance Beat episode, like. Um, here. It's got like a handful of prop cases that we did. Yeah, I made multiples of these just in case. Might give some away one day. Uh, yeah, old thing. Um, got some Pikachu thingies up there. Oh, Nerf Tommy 20. As you can tell, I like my Nerf guns. So, uh, coming back down here, we have all of my light. Oh, these are just a whole bunch of dead batteries I need to get rid of. Uh, but yeah, here we have all of my light guns. Uh, got more light guns. Broken controller I've been salvaging parts from. So yeah, uh, I like my light gun games, and I've just collected a whole bunch of light guns over the years. Gun Con 2s, this cool uh, Future Electronics one. This one's actually really cool. It's got an interesting uh, kind of switch for the trigger, which I like. Xbox light gun, and this is like the Swiss Army light gun. This has got like all the settings. It's got laser, it's got your recoil. Uh, Desert Eagle, perfect if you like playing Endgame, because that's the... Uh, title gun for that one, a uh, bunch of Wii stuff. Of course, under here, uh, sorry, can't see. Yeah, so bring it over here, Louis. Uh, we've got my Logitech force feedback wheel in the box. Use that every now and then. Okay, and now let's move over here. Whole bunch of stuff up here, just random collectibles and doodads. Uh, won't bother going over. Here we have the central thing. Got this thing uh, from my boss's backyard. They didn't want it one day, and they just said, yep, take it away, you can have it. Um, Zelda Shield, can't remember where I got that, it was cheap though. Uh, yeah, like my Ross Nova. Uh, Game Boy stuff, all here, I got the Japanese Pokemon Red, my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh case. Um, yeah, I got a collector, I, I just need to put this away because it won't fit in the thing that's collector's edition of a Juice 2. Hard to find the collector's edition. Hard to work out how to get to the bonus content. Yeah, and then down here we have, um, so we have a Game Boy printer in the box. So that's pretty cool. Uh, spare Xbox console, a whole bunch of stuff. Pong, clones. 
In here, got a lot of my gaming literature. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm trying to go for a complete set of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Prima guides. Um, so back to the camera, Blue, just to get a general picture. I've got some, I've got some really cool old uh, game players encyclopedia. Uh, so yeah, more Yu-Gi-Oh! books. Um, oh, this, this one's actually really cool. Shinobi, the Fear Pavilion. This is actually a, a comic they made of Shinobi back in the day. Uh, so that was a cool find. And just a bunch of yeah, random cases. Keep all my Game Boy games in binders. Um, here we got the GBA. So yeah, just random GBA stuff there. Game Boy. That's a reproduction Pokemon Green, even though like it, it was really cheap. That's the only reason I got it. Yes. Uh, got some notable stuff. Let's see. Uh, Game Boy Gallery 3. The Yu-Gi-Oh games. Crazy Castle. This is my two Zeldas. I've actually got the box for that one up there. We'll talk about that in a sec. Yeah, just some spare ones I haven't found a place for. And uh, those binders are mostly Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I think. And then I've got heaps of just random doodads. And like cables and stuff in these boxes. Spare box, box to Yu-Gi-Oh games. Uh, I tried to give these away in the video. Nobody friggin' entered. So yeah, that was depressing. Maybe I'll try again next time. But uh, actually, yeah, let's just take a moment to just look around the room before we get to uh, the main event. Yeah, if, if you see, we just do a circle around here. I've put the uh, the game boxes. So up here we have uh, some GBA, uh, my Zelda games. Um, they were actually got for like six bucks a piece. That was pretty good. Uh, and they're just to like brighten up the room. We've got some posters and stuff over there, obviously. Those are all the Yu-Gi-Oh! games Japanese box that I own. Uh, I've got a couple more near the end that I need to get then. And then of course over here, all the English uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! games. Uh, except the GameCube ones and one of the Wii ones, I've just got Duel Masters on the end there. And then of course over the door, just some of the notable uh, special editions. I've got Halo and the Crimson Skies aren't, but I've just got doubles of them. And uh, that's the standard edition of Gran Turismo 4, my normal one is there. But yeah, I just put them up there because... Um, I'll swing back around here, Louie, because uh, that's just, I just, uh, you don't need to go slow, Louie, I've got, I've got the steady shot on, so don't worry about that. Those paintings are found by the side of the road, don't swing back to them, but, okay, so here we are, the main event, the games. At the top, bunch of doodads, uh, a rare uh, Rayman VHS. Yeah, just uh, back up, Louie, just look at me for all this, I'll, I'll, I'll have a picture in picture for all that. So, uh, yeah, basically this is the fruits of... I think it's five years collecting now. Um, I have a rule that I, with very few exceptions, don't spend more than five dollars on a game. So most of this, because I buy it in lots, I'm actually in profit on. So I'll just go through a couple uh, interesting ones. Uh, Winx Club. Here we go, Winx Club. This one I got for like two bucks. Worth a surprising amount of money, this one. And it's basically um, sort of like, you know, uh, sort of a, almost a... Um, a uh, uh, Harry Potter clone, if you've played the Harry Potter movies. But yeah, this one's it's made by Konami, worth a surprising amount. Yeah, you wouldn't expect that for Wings Club. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Lollipop Chainsaw, that's a recent one. Uh, that one's for six bucks, obviously. I've only got like three Xbox 360 games. Uh, yeah, uh, ooh, this one's a cool story. I recently got this one um, on a tour I was with at work. And I bought this with a couple of other games, like Cars Racer Armor and that, and I was thinking, eh, it's a random uh, Capcom game. It's five bucks. You know, it's on my limit, but I'm like, eh. I was, I was make, I was in profit with the other games I bought, so I thought I'd just get it. Turns out this game is worth quite a bit, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, considering it's a complete, very good condition uh, version. Uh, I Ninja. Uh, what else have we got here? Ooh, uh, I've got a very nice. I was, I was very happy to find this. It's a very nice, crisp, clean Halo 2 steelbook complete with the cover. Very difficult to find one with this little rust. And I've also got one for Doom 3 there that I traded for an Xbox controller online. Um, and this is a good example of two things here. Resi 4 and Extermination. Um, I like recasing a lot of my games in uh, brighter colors. So uh, of course Resi 4, the, that red thing looks good in the red case. And uh, Extermination with its holographic uh, purple looks brilliant. and. Um, Basically, I just, you know, it, it, it's better to look at, so if I think of a color that I like, I've got a bunch of spare ones down here, but if I think of a color I like, I just, you know, put them on because it's more interesting to look at. 
Um, other interesting games. Got that one for my birthday from my lovely girlfriend Harmony, Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. Silent Hill 2. Um, let's see. What has a good story behind it? Uh, ooh, the British version of BMX XXX. That's the one. This is the Australian version, they removed the nudity. But if you get one with the ELSPA rating, still got the nudity in it. I mean, like, you know, it's pixels, but like, eh. So, ooh, ooh, here's a good one. Here's a story. What? Yeah, this is probably my most uh, expensive game currently in the collection. Outrun 2006 Coast to Close. The coast, and yes, that is how much I paid for it. So like, I walked in one day, I saw Outrun uh, at my local game traders, and I was thinking, oh, this is probably going to be, you know, like whatever, 50, I think it was uh, 70 bucks at the time it was going for. Nine dollars! And I'm like, I will take that, sir. Yes, thank you. Because they probably thought it was the other, uh, bur uh, sorry, not Burnout, Outrun game, which I think actually, uh, it's not, it, it would be in my console at the moment, because I love Outrun. But yeah, um, they must have just thought it was the other Outrun game which isn't worth as much and accidentally priced this, so... <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's awesome. I love Outrun. I was hoping I wouldn't like it because when I buy expensive games at low price, if I like the game, I keep it. If I don't like it, I can sell it. So I was hoping I wouldn't like it so I could sell it and make, you know, whatever, 90 bucks. I think it's gone up even higher now. But um, yeah, I, I just love it so much I've got to keep it. Uh, what else we got? Need for Speed Underground 2. Do, 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 do. Uh, I've been through like three or four copies of Simpsons Hit and Run, man. Really common, but sells really high. Uh, oh, he's got. I like my Gran Turismo 4, so I actually have the uh, steering wheel edition of that. That's my childhood edition. And um, ultimate cheats for it, so I can make crazy. Uh, have, Lewis is nodding his head behind the camera. Yeah, we, we've played around with the. Stop the. <laughs> we, we've played around with uh, the cheats on there. Like, there's, some, there's some fun stuff you can do with messing with the physics. Um, I was sure I had some. Uh, oh, I love this game. Splashdown 2. This is a case I got yesterday. Yeah, really nice blue. But Splashdown 2. Brilliant game. Brilliant game. Ace Combat. I cannot find a working combat or Ace Combat 4 anywhere. They always freeze up or they won't load. Or, it's just important. The same thing with Ratchet Gladiator. Ooh, Artornelico uh, 2. $10 from CEX. They didn't know what they had. I did. Yeah, this is a very um, expensive RPG. Happy to have that. Which is the same. I can't remember where I got this. Oh no, this is CEX as well. Hoppy. Very mediocre game. Very, very mediocre game. Very expensive mediocre game from everyone's favorite Phoenix Games. Uh, ooh, got this really cheap too. This was only 20 bucks. Capcom Quest Division Volume 2. I'm actually trying to sell this game. Uh, it's just it doesn't really have much that interests me too much. In it. And um, I think those are all the most interesting ones. I got um, oh, I got Virtual Cop Elite Edition here. Contra Shattered Sword. Oh, actually no. Okay, last last story. Uh, the games here. I guess you're probably running out of games to look at. But um, Ten Guy. So um, I was at um, my old primary school's. Um, the school like trash and treasure sale their school fate and they had a stack of ps2 games and i bought them all for i think um five bucks ten bucks i can't remember basically it worked out so each game was 75 cents ten guy was one of these games and i grabbed this one i actually left a couple of the games i grabbed this one because i'm like eh, it looks like a cool little sort of budget basic you know 505 game street um you know, little shooting game, and I thought, eh, it could be fun, I mean, so yeah, I paid him 75 cents, I was more focused on the other games, then I looked up what this game is worth, and this is a pristine copy, it was worth, like, 80 bucks, so basically the same as Outerfront, and, you know, I got it for 75 cents, so that was pretty crazy. I ended up making a donation to a bunch of their charity funds because of, uh, like, $10 just to, like, balance it out a little bit, but yeah, that was really cool, um, I don't think there's too much here. So the stacks of stuff here, this is just stuff I don't have shelf space for. This is all DVDs. Um, yeah, I've got uh, interesting stuff this part. I've got Japanese versions of Ratchet and Clank because they're cool. A uh, bunch of Singstone stuff here. Uh, Vader Zim, like my Vader Zim. These are colored cases I bought yesterday because, um, yeah, but just waiting to put some games in them. Yeah, it's. it's Nothing too interesting down here. I've got a full set of the Guitar Hero games, except for Rocks of the 80s, which I don't really need. Uh, yeah, this is an empty case. Oh, something's wrong with my computer. Yeah, ignore that for now. 
Uh, a couple of accessories here before we move on any further. Um, this is an interesting factory sealed uh, mini dance pad. I kind of wanted to use this in the Britney's Dance Beat video because uh, yeah, the girl is wearing something very similar to what Britney is. And it, it's a cool little thing. I just haven't uh, had the opportunity to really open it yet. But uh, yeah, I got that uh, pretty cheap, I think. I can't remember how much, like 10 bucks. Uh, dance mats are in here. Um, yeah, and I think uh, that wraps up for the games for the most part. So we just come over here. Um, yeah, uh, I've just got a couple of little doodads here. I've got a. This is cool. For five bucks, one day I bought this uh, at a flea market. It's a. Uh, this is an original. Uh, what was the year on this? 2004. So Halo 2, 10 inch uh, Master Chief, which I happened to find um, two spare guns and a spare gun. Um, a left gun hand for, because I only came with a right hand gun, in a bag of Bionicles at a completely different thrift store of all places. So, um, yeah, that was that was a crazy good find. Um, oh shit, this has been leaking. Oh no. Oh, this, is my, this is my Wizard of Oz memory potion, which now is apparently all leaked away. Uh, but this was because I was in, uh, I was in Wicked. Ooh, I got, uh, Wiggles tape signed by Greg Wheel. That's pretty cool. Radio Wii. Um, Last Starfighter. I've been watching that, so it's just you know. Now down here, I've got a couple more games. Uh, this, these are all just bad games that like, yeah, I'm just keeping off to the side. I've got a bunch of uh, Pokemon books here. So just back it up, Louis, just so you get the whole picture. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've just needed like, I, I only gave him like 30 seconds worth of instructions, so like, it's not his bad. Uh, yeah, I've run out of space to put my DS games here, my cased uh, DS games, so that's why I had to spill a couple over there, but um, I recently got a whole bunch of Pokemon games for like five bucks a piece. It was crazy at uh, an op shop, so I've got Soul Silver there, Pearl, which is my childhood wine, all of the rescue teams, um, yeah, just some really good stuff. Uh, oh, Drum uh, Wars is good. Uh, I want to do videos on some of these Pokemon books, really cool. Got a little knockoff toy. Vintage Blue Eyes there, which I really like. A couple of Mega Drive games. Um, yeah, not really much else of note. Um, just random stuff. Xbox motherboard down there. Um, yeah, so moving on, and we come to the business end of the game room. This is the, the TV unit. Uh, so yeah, let's just back it out. Uh, are we there? So, I'm not quite sure. I might actually be giving him terrible instructions. I can't see the screen. But um, I'm just going to trust him now. So yeah, a bunch of other knickknacks and curios, GameCube I barely ever use, um, upcoming video on this one right here. Uh, this actually has another N64 in it, it's a carrying case, uh, I've got three N64s, I need to sell them, I don't like the N64, I just, there's just not really much that grabs me past uh, Pokemon Stadium and uh, Mario Kart 64. So yeah, uh, Giant Yoshi for three bucks, that wasn't too bad, and then we come to the TV itself. I've decorated it with Yu-Gi-Oh Tarzos and Pokemon uh, Tarzos because I can. Now, what happens is the um, I've got a I've got a switcher up here, which will switch me to um, I think uh, that's just for switching the VHS and PlayStation One. Everything else, um, these three are all hooked up with the same S video cable. Um, it's it's the KDM cable. I've done a review of it. It's got some problems. Yeah, so I'll just move these out of the way. PS1 games in the side. So yeah, that's all X video. And uh, yeah, Louis, I said I put picture in picture of the scrolling games while I talk, so we can speed this up, so you don't need to constantly be looking at it. So yeah, just keep it on me, man. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'll just go quickly through some of the uh, interesting PS1 games. Uh, ooh, Alien Trilogy. This was a great find. This was, I think was five bucks. Love Alien Trilogy, it's a brilliant little shooter. Uh, Xenocracy, you guys should all know about, because I did a one of my most popular videos on it. Uh, I do. Oh, I've got a bunch of the, uh, the Resident Evil games. Time to kill this, decided to come out with it. So yeah, I've uh, got these all pretty cheap as well. And five bucks. I love Resident Evil Survivor, I played that to completion. Uh, a couple of months ago with my friend Caitlin in one night. That was, uh, that was great. I think four hours it took us. Well, maybe six even, but uh, that was great. Uh, oh, this one's called Final Fantasy VII. Uh, 
doesn't have the original case, but it is in fact the uh, promo version. Uh, never played Final Fantasy, but uh, it's good to have. And also, uh, we have Spyro Year of the Dragon. Want to see what I paid for it? 25% off. So yeah, seven bucks fifty-five. Uh, Crash Team Racing. That one five bucks in a um, uh, op shop. Oh, this one's a cool one. So we got Ace Combat Two here. Cool thing about this. Now, if you want to play Ace Combat Two, it's a, uh, it's it's a relatively expensive game. But if you get the Japanese version, which is cheap as chips, and you have a like me, a mod chipped PS One, this will actually this has a uh, English subtitles and dialogue. No, no, it has Japanese subtitles, but English dialogue. So you can still understand everything in this game. Uh, well, 99% of stuff just by the Japanese version. So I'd just get the Japanese version part of you. Um, and of course I've got Crash Bandicoot, Ape Escape, all the good stuff. Under here, oh, ignore these games. These are uh, ooh, upcoming project. But, uh, oh, dual analog controller, the original. It's pretty cool. Now uh, down here is just basic electronic storage. This is the mic I've been using to create all the videos so far. It's just a SingStar mic. I have a little tripod and some pop filters. Uh, Louie might be able to provide me with a better way to do voiceovers, so hopefully quality might improve. Uh, got a gun. You know, you never, you never be too careful. Yeah, oh, and right here, we have a stack of games which I actually found today from Louis while we were looking for something for the new video, which we're actually going to shoot after this, hopefully, if we have time. Uh, this game I found yesterday, it was three bucks, gift, I was like, why not? I actually found that with the Taz um, case. And then I got these ones all for $2 a piece, so, um, uh, Run, Ratchet Gladiator, which I need a new copy of, because every single copy I found has a glitch at the beginning. Spyro Hilda's Tail into the Dragonfly. Uh, ooh, Cartoon Network Racer, uh, Hot Wheels Beat That, and uh, Mr. 3 Exile. Two dollars a piece. It's like, um, if you are patient, good games will come to you. You don't need to spend a fortune to um, get ahead in this hobby. whole thing is hooked up to a surround sound system. There's uh, two speakers there, center speaker inside down there. And if you take a look on my bed over here, we have uh, two... Uh, Surround sound speakers. I love watching movies and surround. Also, just over there, I forgot on the side of my um, bookshelf, we have my Wallace Gibson guitar. Uh, just because there's no real better place to put it. Over here, we have Wii games. So, yeah, I won't really talk about that. Just all, a lot of your standard stuff. Uh, love Ace Combat. So, there's a, an innocent. Or, uh, what's it called? Sky Falls in there. Nice Jack and Dexter poster. Never finished Jack and Dexter. I don't even think I've finished like the first. Two levels, but it's a cool poster, so I put it up there. And here we have the uh, the old battle station. This art was actually done by Louis for the uh, the Crash and Burn review. I've got the original around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, speaking of art, I like to put it on my walls if I get stuff done for uh, an episode. I don't think I've got anything visible at the moment. Yeah, it's like behind stuff at the moment. But this one, this one actually fell over the other day. Yeah, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh socks. <laughs> And this one actually fell over the other day. That's uh, the Polar Express one. So the, the the glass shattered. So I need to get that reframed. That was f done by my good friend um, Caitlin Parker. Um, and then um, we have over here. Uh, yeah, this is my PC. Uh, it's uh, Ryzen three. I want to say fourteen hundred X. Can't remember what I put it. GTX seven seventy. So yeah, very, very basic, very standard, very cheap. Uh, second hand graphics card. Although what it does have, a floppy drive. How cool is that? Uh, yeah, it, it's it's useless, but it's uh, it's cool to have. Yeah, I edit all the videos here. I use either NCS video pad or Sony Vegas, whichever one is chucking less of a hissy fit at the time. Yeah, I got all my uh, PC games on there, and I don't play modern PC games because I don't play, sorry for the creaking door, but I don't, I don't play modern games because I have all of these games over here. It's like, I could play any one of those brilliant games which I bought for $2 or I could spend 60 or in Australia up to $100 on a new game, which I'm not going to play as much, so it's like, why bother? I just I, I, I buy stuff on Humble Bundle and that's it. I just, I've got no reason to buy new stuff. Uh, 
and then we come over here, we have my DVD recorder, which I got really excited when I bought because I thought it took RGB because it's got scar on the back. It doesn't, it's just as video and composite. But yeah, I use that to capture anything I can't cap in an emulator. I cap with that. And uh, then we come to the last few things in the collection. So come around here, Louie. So we've got a couple things deep under the bed, like an old tiny TV and stuff that, um, you know, we, we can't get to today. But I do store a lot of my stuff under here. See, I've got a bunch of these boxes around the place just with random cables that I need. For more frequently used cables and controllers, I have uh, some drawers here. So a bunch of chargers, capture card, AV cables, power cables, USB stuff. Um, yeah, uh, all my controllers I use off an N64, Xbox, just right here so I can just swing around and grab them when I need them. And then we got some uh, individual um, boxes here. So what is so where I just store everything random in these boxes. So it looks like we got some old um, childhood PC games. Um, let's see if there's anything interesting. Oh, one of my first PC games. Rollercoaster well, Tycoon from, uh, I think it was a K-Zone. Oh no, Disney Magazine. Disney Adventure. Yeah, um, oh, boxed copy of Halo, uh, not Halo 2, Half-Life 2. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. Um, I think I've shown this off before, but no, I'm showing off again. Sealed, uh, what's it called? Action Pack, which has Crimson Skies, Metal Gear Solid, and Star Lancer in it. So this is probably... Uh, I really like Crimson Skies. I want to play the original someday, but uh, this is probably one of the rarest uh, versions of uh, Metal Gear Solid for PC out there because it's sealed and it's in a uh, relatively uncommon action pack. I've never seen another one sealed. I mean, not seeing that there isn't another one sealed out there somewhere, but yeah, it's uncommon and I'm not sure if I can get this all back in because stuff has moved around, so yeah. And also a Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator. Got those for, I think, a dollar a piece. Yeah, let's just uh, move that away. Box number two. Uh, so, we got a bunch of empty cases because when I recase those in the colored ones, you know, empty case gotta go somewhere. Two uh, PlayStations, including uh, one with one of these, um, one of these VCD uh, Game Shark. Things. And this is actually the original model PlayStation with the uh, the LCAs in the back. Shell. This is actually the Game Boy Power Brick uh, for running a Game Boy off the, out of the wall, uh, or, or I think Game Boy Pocket, one of the two. So, I mean, when, when would you need it? But it's cool. Game Boy Color face plates. So. That's about it for that box. Let's see if I can get to these. Uh, it's just old boxes for models because I like making, you know, plastic sort of, you know, planes, tanks, that sort of thing. But then, uh, oh no, there's one more thing. Then we have the controller bench. This is my dad's old workbench, which I use occasionally. It's just it's filled to the brim with junk at the moment, so I can't open it up. But right here we have uh, my controllers. Uh, a lot of PS1 and PS2, as you can see. So there's a PS O and E and another PS O and E that I've picked up. Oh no, what's happened to SpongeBob? Oh, that's... Oh no! The bouncer's gone from his bungee. I, I, I picked it up, I don't know if you saw that, but um... Oh, it, it seems to be okay now. Oh no, it's just sticking when it... Okay, it was just clicked out. I thought for a second the stick had broken on SpongeBob. No, this, this is a really cool controller, look at that. It's actually uh, surprisingly comfortable. I made a video about it before, but I like how they just incorporated every single element into the controller. Like, his teeth are turbo and uh, clear. Uh, his eye pupils are start and select. And, like, they, they got really creative with the face buttons, and they put the Nickelodeon logo. It's actually really uh, nice and clicky um, face buttons, and, of course, a bunch of other. It's just it's just a cool thing to have. Uh, very fragile, though. Easy to find them with the nose missing. PC, Logitech controller, um, let's see if there's anything else interesting in here quickly. Oh yeah, I made a video. I want to make a full video on this, but I want, made one of me playing um, Crash Bandicoot with this. This is the, um, the AirPad. 
And uh, this actually has a faceplate on it for some reason. So you can actually buy, or you could buy separate things uh, as faceplates. This is a motion controller for the PS1. So it has two kinds of motion. It has tilt, which you can do that to be the D-pad, or twist, so you can do this for like racing games. It kind of works, um, as with many, many of these things, it kind of works, but it's an interesting thing to have. And so uh, it got interesting ergonomics, so, and you can just use it as a normal controller if you want. So that was that was a pretty cheap uh, red PS1 controller. You can't you can't see a lot of this. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> PS1 joystick. Uh, another PS1 joystick. This was uh, two dollars from CEX. They thought it was a PS2 joystick. It's not a PS1. And um, it's 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 all right. It is. I don't really use joysticks much, but you never know. Oh, and a uh, bunch of Xbox ones up here. Got a couple different colors. You can't really see them right now, unfortunately. And uh, we have the PS1 glove controller. One of my first uh, really unique uh, pieces for my collection. You wear this thing like a glove. And uh, yeah, you control the D-pad like this. You got the buttons. Uh, you got the I don't know, see, and it's interesting. Uh, it doesn't really work. It's not as bad as a lot of people say it is, in my opinion, but, um, yeah, it does what it does. Uh, also, something I forgot to talk about when we were looking at the Yu Gi Oh cards, um, I'm currently collecting, I've got a couple over here, all of the old Yu Gi Oh cards from um, 2002 to around about 2004. See, I've got, oh, this is actually a pretty rare one at the top here. This is Tournament Pack 6, Burglar. Yeah, so Tournament Packs, you got those uh, for participation. Not reprinted. And uh, Neko Gal 1, that's also, that's Tournament Pack 6 as well. And, um, oh, uh, Humanoid Worm Drake. See, so, yeah, just a lot of the old cards, I'm trying to get a full set. Uh, also, I'm including ones that are in the spirit of some of the old cards coming out in the new set, so my target is getting way way big but um one day hopefully i'll get there and of course uh ooh, my nice sennheiser headphones there oh and also over here just uh i uh, got some video game related music here uh you go the movie um we've got uh pokemon to be a master pokemon totally pokemon pokemon the first movie and uh i've got the, the single flight here i think yep uh, th these ones are odd. PlayStation Extreme Games and Extreme Games 3. This one has PlayStation associated with it. This one doesn't. Um, this is an audio CD with a lot of random, you know, Blink 182 and other kinds of songs. Prodigy. And I'm, I'm not quite sure. Was this, was this a magazine thing? I just, I don't know. I mean, it's good songs. It's a great little mixtape, but. Um, and it's a double album too, and so is this one, but it's just, I'm not quite sure how it really ties in with um, PlayStation. Bunch of Disney ones, bunch of kids ones. A couple of PC games here, a lot of the Roller Coaster Tycoons, love Roller Coaster Tycoon. Croc. Um, yeah, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Future video, PC version, yeah. And, um, oh, and of course, yeah, of course. Um, South Park. And yeah, a bunch of PC games down here, which I won't um, bore you. I'll probably just show them picture in picture. And of course, oh, one last thing. Guys, Super Nintendo here. I've only got two games for it, so I'll just show you both of them. Ooh. Yeah, just, uh, these ones are pretty cheap. But also, I got these cool um, Super Nintendo box art coasters. These are really cheap from EB Games. So yeah, I love, love, I love video game coasters. That's really cool. Ah, man, damn it though. Uh, yeah, and also I've got a couple of these. Uh, just quickly show you what's in here. These uh, game wallets. I just got a bunch of disc only stuff. Got some rare stuff in here. Spyro 2. Uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut. Yeah, that. Uh, Aiden Armstrong and SpongeBob on that. I think that that is, despite a bit of a clumsy finish there, that is the entire collection or everything that has any 
uh, real relevance as of 2018. About the end of 2018. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's about five years uh, of collecting. It's crazy uh, when I look at, especially this wall of games here. Uh, when I think back to um, my original DM1 review, the YC, y, uh, YCPT tribute. Uh, if you actually look at that and you look in the background of that, um, on top of the TV you'll see a small little line of PS2 and Xbox games. That was my entire collection at the time. Like, uh, in terms of PS2 and Xbox, it's like, that much, and now it's like, I'm in profit for all of this, like, I haven't spent a huge amount on this, um, like, I can point to these and tell you pretty much how, uh, I keep a lot of the price stickers on them if I haven't played them to remind me, but, uh, uh, Manhunt, that was $8, that's an exception to the rule, uh, Lego Star Wars, $3, Maximo, $2, Incredibles, that was a gift, uh, Freak Out, Three dollars fifty, black five dollars. See, I, I I don't spend a lot of money on these games, and I buy them in bundles like this, and I sell them off. Like if we just go with these bundles right here, this is the bundle I bought today. I spent fifteen dollars on it. Uh, in terms of store credit, I can get um, nine dollars each uh, for each of these. Uh, even though they only sell for ten online, but they try and sell them for like twenty in the store, so they give you nine credit for Sparrows. I can get six for that, uh, but I can sell that for about 15. I can sell this for upwards of 30. And uh, these three are just bonuses I get to put in the collection. So like, if you're careful with this, if you set that rule for yourself, don't go over five dollars, don't go over how many dollars. If you budget yourself correctly, you can get an awesome collection like this, at least I think it's awesome, uh, for not much money. But uh, so yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys very soon in uh, the remake review uh, of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! DM1, uh, the review of Yu-Gi-Oh! DM2, and I don't know if this is going to come before or after those, probably after, but the Keith Shizuo Christmas or slash holiday special, which will be coming up, which, um, actually, you know what? If you are a big enough fan to watch this collection video, I'm going to tell you what it is. Shh, don't tell anyone else. But it will be all of these games that you see here. So yeah, one big video, all of these games, crap ton of alcohol. Well, yeah, crap ton of alcohol. We're going to do all these games, so yeah. So there, there's your little reveal. Hopefully you could see them clearly. If not, I'll just take a photo. Yeah, I think um, that is that is the collection. Uh, yeah, so um, actually, no, one, one quick thing. One, one more. One more thing. That is my original childhood poster from the Diamond and Pearl strategy guide of, um, yep, all of the, uh, Gen 4 Pokemon, which was my gen, it was Gen 4. And, uh, oh, and we also got some, oh, there we are, Louis, Let, let's show that off. This is the original artwork for Burnout 2. Uh, not Burnout 2, Crash and Burn that he did, that we enhanced uh, with the computer. But, uh, yeah, and of course I like my Family Guy Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the lighting's probably shit right now, but, um, yep, that's it. Let's, let's call it there, so, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. Thanks, guys.